Lois Maylou Jones, another Bostonian, also attended the Boston Museum School and later joined her colleague James Wells in the Howard University Art Department. She was working as a textile designer when she entered her first Harmon Foundation show. The textiles had names, Grogret and Fisby and had beautiful names, but you never saw Lois Maylou Jones. And I had made up my mind that I wanted to go down in history and uh, in art, and uh, to do that, I'd have to paint. Having gone to the Boston Museum School, and they had the exposure of the Boston Museum of Fine Arts, where I would go and look at the works of Sargent and Winslow Homer and uh, aspire, more or less, in that direction. I wasn't thinking at that time of any particular racial boundary, you know, limit so that it really uh, was sort of wide open. But I must say the Harmon exhibits did sort of change you into working in the direction of black art because to interest the people in Harlem, for example, the black subject would be popular. <laughs> 